Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. Got another oddball for you today. Another short, tiny little shotgun. This is the Mag 7 in Home Shotgun Magazine Fed Mag 7. It is chambered in 12 gauge short shell. So it's a little different than your regular 12 gauge. For example, here's the 12, whoa, here's the 12 gauge. And here is your short shell. It is same diameter but shorter. Got it? All right. So we've got a magazine that holds five shells and it is kind of pistol style. I guess you could call it bullpup if you wanted to, but it's uh, more pistol shaped than anything else, I'll tell you. It is pump action. It is a pump action mag fed pistol style. It's weird. Let's check it out. Let's take a look at the controls. Left on the trackpad will engage and disengage the safety. Very easy to see there. Down on the trackpad will not eject the magazine. It doesn't have a magazine eject. Oh, so sad. Up on the trackpad will, dis uh, will unlock the uh, pumper. So you can pump it. <laughs> Got to be able to pump it. And that's it. Those are the only controls on it. Can you slam fire it? Can you hold down the trigger and work the pump and just have it fire as soon as the pump reaches its uh, reaches the end there? Let's see. Yes, you can. Although I do not recommend it. <laughs> it's going to go all over the place. See what attachments we got? Oh, doesn't look like we have any rails up there, do we? Oh, well. Okay, so nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom, and the back. Okay, so no rails. That's a bummer. No lasers, no red dots. Where's our compensator? Hey, yes, you can put a compensator on the barrel. Fantastic. And you can take it off, too. How about a suppressor? Yes. Excellent. How about the rail barrel adapter thing? Yep, so you can get rails on there if you really need to. Again, there's no bottom rails, and there's no way to attach an extra hand pumpy thing. How about a bayonet? Got your spatula action. Always handy. And most importantly, can you put a stock on there? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! There's no stock for it on the side. Oh boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be a recoil machine. Take a look at the sights. What do we got? Oh boy. Well, because there's no stock, it really puts it up in your eyeball there. So I'm gonna try and hold it out. Oh, whoa, whoa! This is terrible. This is so wiggly. Okay, well, all right. You know what? I'm gonna hold it pistol style so you don't get sick watching me. Well, we've got a very small notch in that rear. And a very large front post, but kind of narrow when you look at it down the barrel like that. So, not so bad. However, these uh, wings on the side really do help you kind of center that, at least at least initially. Uh, but I'm not going to call these sights good by any means. Well, the Mag 7 is chambered in 12 gauge short, and unfortunately, we only have number one buckshot available in the game right now. So, we're going to do our best to test it. Let's do our uh, spread test. If I can get it on target. Oh, that's a good shot. 8.8. .8. Hey, well, pretty good spread there. 8.6. Another good spread. And an 8.7. So, kind of a little lower than the most tactical barrels. Again, the barrel is starting somewhere around here and going there. So, it's actually a decent sized short barrel shotgun. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's see what with the compensator. Compensator always sounds the same. And with the suppressor. That was a terrible shot. There you have it, the Mag 7, little mag fed, pump action, pistol sort of shotgun with very little attachments on it. Ugh. Uh, I really wish this had a stock. Oh, it needs it so badly. Till next time, I'll see ya. Oof. Rough.